For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some drama and impact to a landscape picture. So let's use our organizer and browse for the picture. And we need to browse for more folders. And I happen to know the picture I want is actually stored on my removable media in a folder called Landscapes. So we click on there. And this has now been added to our folders list in the organizer. And the plus sign denotes that there's subfolders included in here. So the picture I want is actually in a folder called New Images. And it's the boat picture on the right here, which I'm just going to drag and drop onto the workspace. Now, as you can see, the boat is looking rather lost in this vast area. So I don't actually need the organizer anymore. And I don't need the learning center. So we'll close both of those down. And now I can maximize this window. So we'll click on this fit image and window to screen. Looking at the picture, I can see that it's looking a little bit dull and flat and also the horizon is sloping down towards the left hand side. So let's fix both of these problems. I can fix the sloping horizon first by clicking on the straighten tool and this produces a straight line. So now if I take the line left edge and put it on the horizon and then put it on the right edge on the horizon as well and we can see the degree that it's actually slanting by. So now let's click on the apply button and the image is rotated but we've got this yellow border all the way around which I don't particularly want and this is actually caused by the background color so let's undo this and we'll check now the crop image this will automatically crop the picture for you and take out any unwanted borders so now let's move the picture to the left hand side and let's alter the tonality of the picture and we can do that by going to adjust brightness and contrast and we'll select levels in the levels palette we can see that we any adjustments we make can be previewed on the image so I'm going to check this box we below that we have the before image and the after image moving downwards we've got a histogram now I can see it's a quite a flat histogram and that's indicating that the picture is looking fairly flat. So if we take the darkest point and move that to the right a bit, that has darkened the picture down and we can add just a fraction of contrast by lightening up the lighter areas. And I'm going to accept that OK. So the levels adjustment has actually added a little bit more drama to the picture but we can further improve this. So I'm going to maximize this window now and now we can selectively burn in areas to the picture to add more drama and we do that by selecting the burn tool and now we can select our brush size and at the moment I'm going to select something around about the 200 pixel mark and also my opacity I'm going to lower this down to about 20 percent and now we can just selectively burn in areas here and don't worry if you go over the same area twice because as long as you don't lift your mouse pointer up everything will be restricted to 20 percent increase once I lift the mouse up 20 percent is going to be applied again so you can selectively build up the area there we are. and let's add a little bit more darkness at the top and just keep working your way at it it takes a little bit of practice and if you do make a mistake just use the Ctrl and Z to undo and I'm going to add a little bit more darkness to the base here and I'm using a Wacom tablet for this exercise here and it really does make life a lot easier. Now if I want to actually increase the brush size there's a quick way of doing it just hold down the Alt key and you can move the mouse or your pointer up and down and that will increase or decrease the brush size accordingly. So you can be very precise. With that. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker on the reflection in the water. Always seems to be a little bit darker. And I can also selectively darken down areas on the boat. And just for a little bit more darker area there. And, and that's looking quite nice here. If I want to actually lighten up areas, if I hold down the right mouse button, the 
burn tool now becomes the dodge tool so we can lighten up parts of the boat here and I think that's looking okay now and now we've improved the overall look of the picture why not experiment further and have a look at some of the special effects found in PaintShop Pro and one that's worth looking at is photo effects time machine and this can make your photograph look like it was taken in any period of time from 1839 right through to 1960 and they're each worth experimenting with.